Our recipe uh, ensures that not only is the meat tender, you can have it without the sauce and it will still taste good. This dish is so special because when you have it outside, it's usually served separately with the soya sauce. However, uh, my recipe ensures that not only the chicken is tender, you can still have it without the soya sauce and it will still taste as good. 20 white peppercorns, 3 grassroots, bashed, 4 star and eats, ginger, cinnamon, 6 long shallots. Now we're going to bring the ingredients to the stove where we'll start our cooking. Let's add in the water, mix the rose wine. After that, pour in the 3 bottles of soya sauce. Next, add in your rock sugar. Pour in the bash ingredients into the pot. Then, stir the mixture. Finally, cover the pot to let it boil and ensure that your fire is at medium. Add in your chicken. Turn the chicken every 5 minutes until the mixture boils again. Repeat this step 3 times every 5 minutes. The chicken will be cooked in approximately 25 minutes in total. Turn off the fire and cover the pot. Allow the chicken to continue to cook for another 10 minutes. Remove the chicken from the pot and let it cool before brushing it with sesame oil because the sesame oil will blot if the chicken is still hot. Being a food lover myself, especially Chinese cuisine, I knew I had to learn this dish. So I started off by driving my mother to the market to get the ingredients and subsequently I started preparing the dish together with her. After the chicken has cooled, brush sesame oil on the skin. Sesame oil is important because uh, it enhances the taste and it makes the chicken look more tender and moist. Now, you're ready to serve. I really love this dish uh, and it's really a great privilege for me to share it on My Singapore Food. So its stories and recipe can be preserved for its wonderful memories that it has created for me and my family.